subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about some commonly asked questions in Microsoft Dynamics 365, Finance and Operations Apps Developer. So let's get started. Question number 1. You create a new form in a project. You need to display tabs in a vertical alignment. Solution. Apply the operational workspaces pattern. Does the solution meet the goal? Your options are A. Yes B. No The correct answer is, option A. Question number 2. You create a new form in a project. You need to display tabs in a vertical alignment. Solution. Apply the details master pattern. Does the solution meet the goal? Your options are A. Yes B. No The correct answer is, option A. Question number 3, you are a Dynamics 365 Finance developer. You have a virtual machine that includes Visual Studio. You need to display the elements by model. What should you do? Your options are A. Select Model Management from the menu and then select View All Package Dependencies. B. Right-click the Application Object 3 node in Application Explorer and select Model View. C. Select Metadata Search from the Dynamics 365 menu. D. Select Model Management from the menu and then select Refresh Models. The correct answer is, Option B. Question number 4. You need to prepare to deploy a software deployable package to a test environment. What are two possible ways to achieve the goal? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. Note, each correct selection is worth one point. Your options are A. In Visual Studio, export the project and upload the project to the asset library. B. In Azure DevOps, queue a build from the corresponding branch, and upload the model to the asset library. C. In Azure DevOps, queue a build from the corresponding branch, and upload the package to the asset library. D. In Visual Studio, create a Dynamics 365 deployment package, and upload the package to the asset library. The correct answers are, option C, and D. And, here is the explanation of the answer. Question number 5. You are a Dynamics 365 Finance Developer. You need to create an extension class. Which action should you perform? Your options are A. Mark the class as final. B. Add the class buffer as the first parameter. C. Mark the class as protected. D. Mark the class as public. The correct answer is, option A. Question number 6. You create a new form in a project. You need to display tabs in a vertical alignment. Solution. Apply the simple list pattern. Does the solution meet the goal? Your options are A. Yes B. No The correct answer is, option A. Question number 7. You create a new form in a project. You need to display tabs in a vertical alignment. Solution. Apply the table of contents pattern. Does the solution meet the goal? Your options are A. Yes B. No The correct answer is, option B. Question number 8. You are a Dynamics 365 Supply Chain Management Developer. You are working on a project by using Visual Studio. Several users check out a custom form version control and modify the form. You need to find the user that has added a specific line of code to the form. What should you do? Your options are A. Open the object in Object Designer, select the title of the object, and then right-click View History. B. In Solution Explorer, navigate to the object and right-click View History. C. Using Visual Studio, navigate to the object. Add the object to a new solution, and then right-click View History. D. Using Visual Studio, Navigate to the object in Application Explorer, and right-click View History. The correct answer is, Option D. 
Question number 9, you are a Dynamics 365 finance developer. You need to ensure that an integration is triggered when a specific process starts. Which tool should you use to retrieve the status from the production order? Your options are A. Batch job B. Periodic flow C. Business event D. Recurring data entity export The correct answer is, option C. Question number 10. You are a Dynamics 365 finance developer. You make changes to an existing custom class. The code comparison tool shows version conflicts between your version, and the latest checked in version of the custom class. In Visual Studio, you open the Source Control Explorer. You locate the latest change set for the class and you open the change set in Team Explorer. You need to compare the latest code that is in Source Control, with the code that you created. Which option should you use? Your options are A. Compare with Workspace version B. Compare with previous version C. View history D. Compare with latest version The correct answer is, option D. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.